All right, what's up, everybody? We're doing some faction rankings, and I've got two beautiful faces with me today. We've got, <laughs> you know, Thomas over there and Top Knot Damien. You know, he specifically Damn. put the Top Knot just for you guys. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know what we're doing, go back and start watching them. Space Marines is like the base, but what we're basically we're ranking factions in between um, 1 and 60, and we've got these kind of stats and categories that we're doing them in. Uh, today we're going to be doing Sisters. Um, so let's jump right into it. The first one is going to be their defense. Uh, yeah, they ignore AP. Like that's pretty strong, right? Yeah. That's their stick, right? Like you take the bloody rose or any of the other ones, like you minus one AP or maybe minus two AP. That's pretty strong. I've only played a handful of games against sisters, so I'm by no means a sisters expert, but I do know that I thought I would casually pick up some of their tanks and between the miracle dice, just like I, I, I hit put the six out here and ignore all your last cannon damage, or you know, I ignore a minus one in AP. They were a lot harder to kill. So just on those two things alone, I give them a pretty high uh, defense number. Yeah, I mean the miracle dice for just everything they can use it for, right? There's so many factors that can help keep them alive and and make them more potent. Um, so yeah, that's, that's and I, it's interesting kind of going through the comments that we've seen. So definitely love seeing you guys' comments. Uh, definitely keep posting. I mean, when we talk about defense, it's not just uh, is a single model hard to kill, like, you know, Custodes and some of those things obviously rank high just from that death guard. But, you know, do they have movement? Do they have stratagems? Do they have uh, uh, any other things that can kind of add to the level of survivability they need to either hold objectives or, or just in, in general, you know, be difficult to get rid of, right? So, mass bodies is, is you know an example of defense, right? So I think they can they can get what, well. What are troops at this point? Like, what are sister squads? How much are they points per model? Like, can you spam the board with tons of little sisters? I don't. Um, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't think that they're like crazy. Um, we can look up while we while we keep going into it. Um, so like what what takes off points from them right like they don't have native feel no pains right but don't they have an aura that can give them feel no pains or am I crazy am I crazy I might be crazy no they're, they're, I I didn't think them have feel no I don't pains. think I think you know they all have an invulnerable save so I think that's pretty strong yep yeah um, even on the vehicles so are they are they max defense they got miracle no. dice they mm -hmm. ignore AP. <laughs> I don't think they're max. I, I would, I would, I would rate them like a seven or eight. They're pretty high though. They do have some squishy stuff. It just depends on what you take, right? Yeah, but the sisters themselves are toughness three, right? So that drops down. Obviously. There you go. Them. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. So like, it's not, it's not T four. So a lot more just of your flak shooting and stuff like that are going to get through, and then that kind of just gets outweighed by the minus one or minus two AP almost, right? It's kind of a, a trade off, right? Um. So you think in a seven or an eight? I think you just give them because they're still space marines for the saves. Even though they're T three, they're still making three up, two up saves, right? Um, which is and especially when you're ignoring minus one or two, and you're in cover. Well, yeah, now now you're just a super hard mood unit to move. Yeah, that's that's pretty strong. I mean, let's give them eight now, and we you know can always think about it while we're moving this through. Okay. So then we go into offense. Um, what do they have that is better or different as far as offense from Space Marines? Are they, you know, in line with that? So they have the, sorry, you're against, uh, well, I was going to say they, they have the Exorcists. Those are strong. Um, and then, of course, in the, uh, they got the, the Repentia, the Sister Repentia, which are, Nasty. Yes. Yeah, they can definitely be faced with miracle dice, and now with strategic reserve, you know, you know, not forced to just foot slog them to, you know, make them threatening. Um, they got the uh, the repress. What, what are the, the heavy weapon squads? Like Dominion squads, or so yeah. So they got Dominion squads, which are fast attacks. Um, then they have um, what's the Devastator squad called? The they have the ones the with all deltas. The Dedicator Squad, that is the Retributor uh, Squad. Squad. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Those have some those... tricks. And then, you know, they'd be able to extend the range with the strat. So they're pretty, they got a lot of, like, access to Melta and Flamer weapons. So. And then they do have the ability nasty. to shoot when they deep strike in right away. Right? Yeah. So you, yeah. you've got an extra 
area of shooting that you can do with a lot of meltas and stuff. Um, so I mean, they're, and they're, even they're the, strong. Even the penitent, even the penitent engines, though, they're not bad. Like they're, you know, I mean, they only have five wounds and stuff, but it's a five wound thing that's just kind of cruising up the field, trying to get into combat with you. It's, it only has a four up save. So for me, I feel like their shooting doesn't scare me like those other super shooting armies. They do have, you know, a close combat unit that's just insane. They do have access to, you know, psychic powers and mortal wound output and stuff like that. And they do have access to some really good characters as well in combat. Um, yeah, like Celestine. I yeah. mean, everybody, you always see her with... with and they've the... got a lot of fight to what, like uh, fight on death and stuff like that. Like, um, and staying alive even on death which maybe that adds to defense right like celestine can come back and so can um another character i believe like celestine i think has a built-in power and then there's another way to bring another character back because i was playing the sisters once and they brought two characters back when i killed them um so that was pretty brutal from a survive survivability standpoint um and, the, and you have stuff like the triumph of saint catherine that 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 model itself is like you have to kill it. thing has 18 wounds granted it's only toughness three and strength three but like it and it only moves six so it's pretty slow but I mean, it's just it handing just out provides... buffs. is it doing anything like i mean it, it could fight yes. if you get next to it but like... it, it it provides a ton of buffs on the buffs um so depending on how many how damaged it is it will provide a, a, like all, all these different things um for example, like the start of each turn, uh, roll one d6 for each enemy unit within six of her, adding one to the result if the unit's a psyker, and one to the result if the unit is for chaos. And on a five plus, they suffer d3 mortal wounds. Like, it's kind of cool. Um, she adds plus one to hit for any attacks made by melee weapons and friendly adeptus rotus while they're in six of her. And then once per phase, you can perform an act of faith for a friendly unit within six. Once per phase. So each phase, you can perform an act of faith within six inches, even if you've already performed one or more acts of faith in that phase. And then the last thing is when you perform an act of faith for a friendly unit within six, you can decrease the value of a miracle dice used by one um, to a maximum of six and a minimum of one. Um, so you can like increase or decrease your miracle dice yeah. when you roll those. So that's, I mean that's a, that's a lot of stuff from one little thing. Um, so. Yeah, when they fact it to the eighteen wounds doesn't count as big for the purposes of shooting it, obscuring and stuff. That really helped it out because that was going to crush it. But uh, it does have fourteen attacks too. I mean, you got it's. I mean, six inches. It's it's. it's you got to be pretty centralized to it. So I mean, it's good. So I mean, does that concentrate to the offense? I mean, you know. So where are we putting it offense wise? Right, we're talking about offense. Yeah, I definitely think that affects offense because you're affecting your miracle dice, which definitely, like, if you're shooting exorcist across the table and you're like, how many shots do I get? Oh, I get six. Yeah, or damage. You know, how much damage anything. do I do? Oh, I get six, right? Yeah, so the miracle dice come into effect. That helps buff it. They do have close combat stuff. So, I mean, I think I'm sitting in between, like, a six and a seven. I don't know that. There's, there's nothing for me that goes, they're just going to wipe me off the board if I play this correctly. Um, I think that their defense is stronger than their offense, I would say. Yeah, I would tend to agree. I think, you know, they have a couple of those heavy hitting tanks. They got some melted units, but they're like, you know, and then after that, it's kind of mass bolters, or maybe I assault you with some Repentia or something. Yeah. So those little Walker things. So Repentia, Penitent Engines, whatever. I, I think, I think you're, I'm in the same boat, six or seven. I've never been overwhelmed by their. They'll be able to kill you. I maybe even go down to a five. It just depends, I guess. <laughs> they uh, they just don't go away easily. So. Right, right. Um, so let's go with like a five. I mean, it's it's a lot of bolter fire. There is a lot of things, you know, with their combat and stuff like that. But once you take out that one unit that they have or those two units that they have, all you're doing is just soaking up bolter fire at that point for the most part, right? Um, besides yeah, some I tanks, mean, but. Whatever. And with ninth edition, like you know, hiding in the back with a tank is not what it used to be because you can't necessarily see with the obscuring all, all the yep, things I that agree. go along with ninth edition terrain. So, um, okay. So primary, they're gonna get they're gonna be really good. So it's only fifty five points for five a squad of five sisters. So like 
it's a little point to do. Yeah, that, so you can spam it. You can scout spam squad, it. right? You, you, you can, can spam it. It's cheaper than uh, scouts now are seventy points, so you could definitely put a lot of dudes out there and be like, I ignore all your small arms. Excuse fire. me, excuse yeah. me, bird. A lot of women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true enough. So uh, yeah, I would give them pretty high on primary if, if they're. So uh, as far as but mobility, they are they? Yeah, they don't jump move out? that fa- They don't move that fast. So they're just kind of jumping up and just being hard to shift off the Well, board. most of the time they have transports, though, right? Like they got chicks in transports. Yeah, uh, but but still, like if a transport's moving, what, 8 to 10 inches, it's like, what, how fast is that actually, right? It still takes one turn of sitting in a transport, then getting out of it, um, or sitting on the objectives in the transport, that could be good. Um, so yeah, I mean, they, they can definitely do a rhino spam filled with small five you know man squads like that's they they could you could just spam that and be like this sucks to get off the primary you know um they probably can go toe to toe to those massive horde armies because if you have all that bolter fire you're going to be able to put a lot of shots into their obsec to take it off and then you're right there to take the obsec from them yeah. It'd be kind of interesting against orcs, right? Like they charge in and hit them with a bunch of orcs and they all get three up saves, right? But, but yeah. they're still obsec. So it's, it'd be interesting. I mean, with so many attacks, though, I mean, they could just nuke a bunch of squads. I don't know how many three ups you're going to make. And, like, those guys just dump a lot of attacks and wounded on threes. It's just easier to kill. Well, right. But then you have the punch back the next turn, right? You, you, have, you have the punch of the number of shots and number of attacks to. Go and repent you. We'll fight we'll it back. Counter assault and like cut those orcs. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at probably an eight or nine on that. I don't. I don't have too many. Ne- I don't Let's have. Do eight. I don't Let's have do too eight. many negatives on the primary for them. I mean, yeah, I mean, my only downside or negative would be you know mobility as far as if I'm not if I'm not able to if if I'm contested or I'm, I'm bottled up fighting or whatever in one quadrant of the board with the bulk of my force do i have any ways to jump in the back and i guess they have all the sisters that could jump whatever the, the little jump pack girls are yeah um so they have some mobility in some of their units and obviously they have miracle dice and pincher that can just you know run across the board so yeah okay i'm good with that secondaries i honestly think that they're in a similar boat as like space marines right like right around that five because they Honestly, they're probably lower than Space Marines. They're probably looking at a three or a four in my mind because they don't have all that speed and stuff. So, like, engage on all friends becomes really hard. Um, so that kind of that that's not the easiest unless you're putting stuff into reserves and sure you could put all these small units in reserve or deep strike. You know, the, the jetpack ones. You can do stuff like Seth that. Rooms. Those are um, called Seth rooms. Yeah, I can't pronounce that word. That's why I'm not even going to try to say it. <laughs> uh, so, so, so for... we just, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we, we just talked about the running up guys um, and then transports. I mean, they can get engaged all fronts, but they're you know they're gonna have to push to the mid board, which you know some armies are gonna be like that's where they want to live too. And yeah. are they durable to stand up that close? But they're good for like deploying um, scramblers. Like they could almost like. Yeah, like deploy scramblers, even outfit. like domination against a lot of lists. If you have that small arms, small unit spam and stuff, they could do very, very well. You know, to hold more, they might they might be susceptible to killing more against them, though, right? If you run all these small squads and you have the ability of killing two or three five man squads or a tank and the two squads that come out of it, um, you know. They, they're they, not necessarily that easy to kill, though. That's true. That's true. Certain armies, it, they can give it up. Other armies, they're not going to because of two up or three up saves. Well, so that's interesting. So they, they typically don't have any psychers, right? So they're not, you know, unless you're like bringing in an Inquisitor or something. So they could, I'm just trying to think, you know, are they are they grabbing secondaries easily? Or are they giving up secondaries easily? You know, where's I don't know. The, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I it, it Again, I guess it would come down to the build, but I, I think that they can actually do secondaries fairly well, to be honest. Okay. I, so you think so? I, I, I put them about a, I put them about a six or seven. Just kind of thinking about, and this just comes from thinking of okay, like you, you could do deploy scramblers pretty easily, I would say, because you have so many troops. So you're like, okay, I don't shoot five bolters. Who cares, right? Like, 
Yeah. Um, and you could easily outflank one of those if you really wanted to and have them come in wherever you needed them to or deep strike one of the set room squads and have them pop in. I mean, even them shooting, like, it's not crazy. I think I think they're going to give up either thin, thin their ranks, bring them down, or assassinate very easy. I don't think there's really a build that you can avoid all three of those. They're very char- character heavy, typically, because you want all those buffs. You want all the killy characters and stuff right so um you can take assassinate but that yet they come back a life so maybe it's a little bit harder to get if you are having a super spammy list uh you know and you can score eight to ten points off of just killing a bunch of girls maybe if they're running a vehicle heavy list um you know then bring it down becomes kind of a a no-brainer to take I think that's really where the only ones that they would really give up. I don't know that there's really anything else because, like, definitely, yeah. definitely the character one because you usually see like two canonesses and you usually see a, a repentia superior and Celestine. So yeah, yeah. Um, but but that does make it kind of easy. Like Berg was saying, though, they usually don't bring in psychers, so they are they could probably take aboard the witch pretty mm-hmm. easily. Um, but that's so that's so circumstantial, and I I think people these days because of board the witch is more prevalent or not or, or is a thing. I don't. Yeah, well, I think that's I been, builds right. I think yeah, the problem with yeah. board the witch or whatever, unless your army is like built on psychics, you just don't take that many HQs because you're trying to limit your yeah your detachments, right? So like I know I'm forced to really be careful with the HQ choices in my armies just because I don't want to run into that detachment or have to take a second detachment to get catch that that next hq so you thinking what are you thinking let, 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 score wise let's just leave think a six? i think let's, let's leave him at six okay. i think that's fine uh cp farm stratagems and everything like that they're good so are like they, that are they spending lots of cp up front do <laughs> they have uh, lots of detachments where they need you know extra characters so they're not starting with as much um are they regenerating any cp are the strats expensive? Are they spending a lot on strats? You know, where do where do we fall on CP? Well, in my experience, I feel like <clears throat> they're pretty good with CP. I don't feel like they blow through their CP because of miracle dice. I agree. They're able they're able to like like put that in there. They just have to use stratagems that they want to use, and then the miracle dice can make up for the reroll problems yep. with things. So I think they're really good, actually, as far as CP farm goes. To be honest, or, or just and and their stratums are pretty solid. Um, and I don't know that you uh, really need to spend anything pre-game. So uh, pre-game, they, I think they do spend some stuff for like relics and things. Um, let me uh, where are these guys at? Shoot. And then like their list flexibility as he kind of looks that up to get a solid number on it. So with their list flexibility, right, they don't have tons of stuff. Yes, there's options, but there's not, hey, here's a bunch of fast attack. Here's a bunch of whatever. I, In my opinion, like when I look at their like, their unit choices and stuff like that, right, there's only two fast attack. There's only four heavy support. Their elite slot is there, but a lot of those are, you know, smaller things or characters and stuff and then they've got pretty good hqs and there's one troop choice right and then you can yeah. take options within that to me they feel very gray nighty when it comes to like your list flexibility where it's like you have these units that are solid units they're durable they can do a bunch of different things depending on how you want to play them but you really only have these like 10 things to choose from and you're gonna build around you know five of those things most of the time like okay are you going to build this vehicle heavy list well here's what you're doing you're going to build you know a troop heavy list okay you just spam with troops you there's no bikes right there's no dreadnoughts like yes there's things that are are like that but there's not there's not tons of options like they're they they got their their own stuff um so does that drop them down to like a five i think so because it's like as the meta like shifts, right? How can they shift their list to go to and from it? You can only really go a couple ways, right? Because they don't have a lot, of, there's not a lot of depth there. Um, so it's kind of like, here's the stuff that you can build. Do you want to shift this way or shift this way? Like, you know, right? You're, are you going to pivot left or pivot right? 
you can't just completely like tear everything down and be like oh i'm um, gonna just completely new list yeah. yeah right like like you're always gonna have celestine right you're always gonna have like... three games i played against sisters did not have celestine so i don't wow. think she's like a, a, like that's a weird i i've seen her like i i don't i don't know how many games i've played against sisters but I feel like I always see her in there. So, what are you thinking for the pregame spend and stuff like that? Do... So, I don't know. It, it's not. It's not too terrible. And their seat and their and their stratagems are all like one and two, honestly, like almost across the board. So small, and small, everything small spend. They small can or cannot and, spend. And they and they and they regain like um, they have this one's martyred one CP. Um, you know the stratagem may not be used if your warlord is returned to the battlefield using miraculous intervention but then they gain d3 cp off of that like that's and that's a one cp gain d3 yeah so they they're they're definitely like recycling really well and a lot of these things as well they can they allow you to like reuse the same miracle dice that you've already done or gain an additional like as a caveat to the stratagem it's like we'll gain an additional miracle dice so Yes. Three. So you kind of look at it as, okay, you have 12 CP. If you choose to spend one or two pregame, not that big of a deal because you have six or eight or it's nine miracle dice. I don't know how many it is. I think it's, I don't know. How well, many. you roll for it. You roll for it. So yeah, like it there's ways to generate more too. So the way it, <clears throat> yeah. Like St. Catherine lets you regen more like, and depending on what sacred right that you take as well. Like some of them get, you can I think you get one at the with. beginning yeah like so I, I think you start with like each turn you yes and then you generate yeah, more yep yep mm-hmm. you're correct so and then I, if you kill sorry go keep going i was gonna say i think i think with that and not really needing re-rolls for that stuff and guaranteeing certain rolls of your dice i think you could put them at 10 honestly yeah i would agree i really do i, I would agree yeah, it's not, not really any negatives i mean how, that's pretty pretty strong but i don't know what you would say about their cp spend like they're not they're not out of cp at the end of the game i've ever seen yeah I'd agree with that for sure. Um, less flexibility, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like I, I feel like most times you you'll see either those big tanks in the back, the exorcists back there doing their thing. You'll see Repentia. I, I think you guys kind of nailed it. Like, I I don't feel like we're really seeing a great deal. Like they don't have that many tools. It's not right. like space right. Marines, right? It's not right. a ton of variety in there, right? So you, not you, a ton. You know, units do work and you're gonna either put those units in or not, right? So Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. So exactly right. this is gonna put them What? At forty two. Oh, okay. The B. Yep. It's not bad. <laughs> Dab in the B tier. I mean, that seems. I think just on a good check, that seems about right to me. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think it's flattering, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, go honestly, uh, let us go, know. sisters. Let us know Maybe what you guys maybe... think and whatnot, where they stack up, what you guys agree yeah. or disagree with. Obviously, we're can not we, too too familiar with them, um, yeah. so we're just you know the few games, and obviously, sisters are becoming more relevant now that they've you know got new models and everything so they are still fairly new um so we haven't seen enough of them uh yeah just let us know like comment subscribe do all those things and we'll see you on the next video